All right, so today we're going to look at the speed starter from Phoenix Contact again, but today we're going to look at it with just manual push buttons. Um, so today I've got it set up with a start and a stop button, along with a forward and reverse switch, as well as some level sensor control, which I can show you later. On a previous video, I've already set this up, but let's just make sure that the analog input is correct. So we're going to scroll to number nine. We're going to go to AI, and we're going to set the analog input to analog input, which it already is. And we're going to go ahead and set number 10 to voltage, which it currently is. And we're going to go back to status. All right, now that we have the drive set up for analog input, I have the drive wired in a push button configuration with a latching start and stop. So if I press the start button, the motor is going to start. I'm going to be able to adjust the speed accordingly. And then I can go ahead and stop the drive. Now the other thing that I can do is I can push start. The drive will start to speed up. I can actually flick it to reverse. The drive will slow down and then spin in reverse. And again, we can adjust the speed setting based on the potentiometer dial. All right, now that we've looked at it with push buttons, let's just go ahead and look at it with level sensors like we would with a tank filling application. So what I have here is I have two level sensors on the right-hand side. This is my low-level sensor. This is my high-level sensor. So right now the system is full because I have this spacer down here imitating water. So if I take this spacer out, the pump's going to start automatically, and that would imitate the tank filling up. Now as the tank fills up, this level sensor is going to come up. And then what's going to happen is when the tank gets full, the second level sensor is going to come up. And we're going to stop the pump. Right? So then if the tank starts to go low, we'll take this one out. And then as the tank starts to get very low, what will happen is the pump will turn back on. And then the tank will fill back up. And the pump will stop. All right, now that we've looked at the tank fill operation, let's look at just a half full. So imagine the tank is, em is getting empty, but an operator notices that the tank is empty. Instead of letting the tank get to the low level sensor, the operator simply pushes the start button. That starts the pump to fill the tank. And then when the tank is full, the pump will then stop. All right? So let's imagine that the tank is now getting empty. The operator comes by, hits the start button, the motor runs up to speed, and oh no, there's an issue. We hit the stop button with our STO, and you'll notice on the face of the drive, we get an STO stop, meaning that we've safely stopped the motor.